I'm doing a blowout. What I do is, um, after I rinse my deep conditioner out, I go ahead and I sit under my soft bonnet cap, and it comes like this. For me, this works for me. I know a lot of other people have the hard bonnet caps, but I'm a person who, I don't like clutter, so that's a little bit much for me, so I didn't go for that. I went for this instead, and I can do this, and the good part about this that I really like, that I'm able, when I get out the shower and it's late at night, I can plug this um, up, put it in my on my nightstand, and go ahead and do a deep condition or whatever while I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I love this thing. This is my baby. I don't know what I would do without this, actually. Um, I didn't take it overseas with me because it's kind of heavy, but um, yeah, so I didn't really deep condition all that much last year when I was in Europe because I didn't have this, but I love this thing, okay? So I rinse the deep conditioner out, I go ahead and plait my hair in a couple of braids, I don't know how many, I think I had uh, four on each side, sit under this after, after that just to get my scalp dry, and then next, what you saw me doing was a tension method. So I take a piece of hair, make sure I detangle it, I take my brush, and I mean you could do it with your hand, sometimes I like the brush, and I just make sure it's dry like that. And not really concentrating on my ends because, as we all know, the ends are the oldest part of your hair. So that is going to break off the most. And it's the most sensitive. So for me, I kind of just, sometimes I hold the ends and I go like this. Or I use a brush and I go about here and I go like this. And I'm about to flat iron so my hair doesn't, or my ends don't really need that much extra uh, stuff. So let's wrap. I just finished blow drying my hair, flat under my hair, uh, deep conditioning my hair, detangling my hair, washing my hair. It's been a long day. So I'm going to have to get some help. I'm going to have to find some help somewhere because I, I don't have time for this. Like this four hour process right here, she can't do it. I just can't. So I need to really find a natural hair salon, even just for the washing, conditioning, and blow drying because I don't really trust anybody to flat iron my hair. It's me. And one of the main reasons I don't trust anybody to flat iron my hair because I feel like a lot of ethnic people, people of color, seem to think that our hair is supposed to be bone straight. And my hair is not, this, this is not going to get bone straight. It's puffing out as we speak. It, it's just my hair, right? So I don't want nobody trying to damage my hair trying to get it bone straight because I don't, I don't care. What I'm actually going to show you is how I... Um, how I cut my hair. So I lost my old hair scissors so I went to Sally's and got some new hair shears whatever you guys call them hair scissors I call them and I've been cutting my hair like this since I started my hair journey in um, 2008 is when I started growing out my relaxer and <clears throat> pretty much this is the same way I've been cutting my hair I've learned from a, a fellow youth a fellow youtuber on how to cut it so and it has worked for me I haven't had anybody else cut my hair I am not a cosmetologist. I do not cut anybody else's hair. I don't do anybody else's hair. Really, I may twist somebody else's hair, but that's the extent. 
I only do my hair. I do what works for me. So if this doesn't work for you or if you're a hairstylist and you are going to tell me that ain't right, I know. I know. You're right. This is what I do. This is the only thing I know how to do. Like I said, I don't have nobody to do my hair. So I had to get smart real quick. So I'm going to show you what I do. So I part my hair down the middle and I'm actually going to cut it as we speak. So this is the first part and I grab my scrunchie and I pretty much try to do the same on both sides as far as um, the location. I do this just for split ends uh, purposes to make sure that you know I'm getting rid of split ends and you know I only straighten my hair <clears throat> two maybe three times a year so it's not a big deal to me for it to be bone straight or for it to be super even because this isn't something I'm going to be doing all the time. <clears throat> anyway, so what I do is I start pulling, not pulling, but kind of just, I guess pulling, but not they're not tight so it doesn't hurt, but just pulling these down at the same time, at the same length. I'm as far back as I can go, y'all. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm looking in the mirror. So sometimes I have to redo them because that's or tighten them up because as we know the end of our hair is not as thick as the top because this is the oldest part of our hair and that's just what it is. So I probably should cut this much off but I'm not. I just do a little light trim, nothing major. So what I do is I take the bottom of my hair. So I use this to straighten my hair and to cut my hair. I take this and just straighten it out and I cut. It's really that simple. I'm not even cutting that much off. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm only cutting this much off. Not a lot. So this is what it looks like and that's how much I cut off. Oh well, that's how much I caught off so far. So this is how much, um, this is, these are the ends now. What I do now is I comb all the hair to the back. pulling it down but holding my hair like this then I start taking this ponytail holder up all right and at this point I pull it over y'all and same thing at this point I'm just pulling it over I'm taking a look at what needs to be cut and then I just get to cutting so I am cutting about this much off And it's not a lot. Okay. And for the last cut. And this one, so this is how much I cut off the front. Not even a lot. So it's kind of just like a trim. So for the last one, I pull my hair to the top. And this one's a little bit harder only because I got a lot of hair now. So again, I'm just smoothing it out, make sure I don't have any lumps or any hair not going the same direction or laying on top of each other. So I am taking a ponytail holder again, same ponytail holder. So I really just use two for the sides and then one on the other cuts. Alright, so I have this ponytail holder up. What I'm going to do, same thing, I'm going to pull it straight up. And then I'm going to bring my hair in front of me. Alright, so this is the hair I have. And like I said, this part is probably the hardest now because I have so much hair. 
So it's about that much, a little more on the floor. But um, I also dust my hair through the year. So I don't do like a major trim. I do a lot of dusting and kind of going through and finding split ends and getting rid of them. So since I've been on, on this little hiatus since you guys haven't seen me, I haven't really been giving my hair the attention that I know it needs. I've just been so busy moving from to another, moving from across the world, from Europe to America, and then moving to another state. Um, new job, new things happening, new place. I live in a new place now, and it's just been a lot going on. So, um, I straightened my hair first because I like to get a nice trim to get in there and get a trim. And to kind of see where I'm at <clears throat> as far as length to see if I'm retaining some of that length I've been working on while it's curly. And also, it's a great way to take a curl break because sometimes, y'all, having curly hair, as most of you know who are probably watching this video, it's a hassle. It's not always the easiest thing in the world. Sometimes, there's some days you just feel like you cannot get it together. There's some days your hair does not act right. Your hair doesn't agree with you. There's mornings I've been like oh, so frustrated over my hair and it can mess up my day y'all. And my suggestion to the rest of you guys, your hair is going to do what the hell it wants to do. Um, don't get caught up, especially if you're new to being natural and you're new to the whole thing. Don't get caught up on having bone straight hair because if you wanted bone straight hair, you can easily perm your hair and you can easily get those results, right? My hair is big. I have afro textured hair. Don't have Asian hair. If I had Asian hair, it'd be bone straight. My hair is exactly what it is and I'm okay with that. And my message to you guys is to be okay with it too. You are who you are. Accept it. Girl, what other people think about you is none of your business. Bye y'all.